Okay, having a lovely morning. And now, second flight with, I call it the Hughes 300 made by Micro Heli, but it's actually a Blade 230 SV2. So, let's get it up then. We've already had one nice flight when it was pretty much dark. Supremely stable in the hover, this one. Of course, I fitted the Micro Heli kit and put the uh, LED lights on as well. Now obviously it is a standoff scale model of a sort of like civil helicopter but uh, I can't help myself to want to drive this thing, uh, fly this thing a little bit quicker because it really does like go well this one but uh, we'll keep it sort of like nice and simple to start off Yeah, a little bit different because obviously it hasn't got um, the mechanical tail that most bigger helicopters have or maybe like a torque tube driven tail but this has got its own little brushless motor and that's why you hear the tail is actually quite fuzzy at times when it's fighting to uh, you know keep the helicopter where you want it to be but amazingly uh, agile as well, you know, and just really does fly fantastic. I can see the sun just coming over the trees behind us. No, yeah, sun's not quite up yet, but uh, still managed to uh, have a blast this morning. You can hear that tail there, when I'm going uh, fast, you can hear that tail really, really struggling to uh, keep the heli. And it really is just quick, I mean, it does take me by surprise. I'm always a little bit concerned when I hear doggies barking because uh, when I'm flying, I can't see where the dogs or the people are. So uh, and dogs and helicopters and just still a mix. Bit of mist there as well. <laughs> yeah, you just hear that tail, that tail rug, the buzzing there to fight to keep it in check. You know, and although this is a very very small helicopter. I just get such fantastic enjoyment out of flying it. It really is just a blast. I just uh, just love flying it. It's just such a fantastic little model. Extremely agile and just whoa, chuck it around, do your little circuit. Absolute blast. Time remaining one minute. Just so so enjoyable. And you know it's just as I've said many a time before. There's something about a helicopter that just fascinates me, um, always has done. You know, that ability to just, like, hover is just, whoa, it's fascinating. Here we go, I'm going to drop it down to low rates now, so I can find it easier sometimes to land. Well, I really enjoyed that, that was amazing.
Bonito. Well, what can I say? What a fantastic little helicopter, it really is. It just, I haven't flown it for a long time and, and I just think to myself straight away, why haven't I flown it lately? Okay, second flight with the uh, Turbo Timber Evolution. Still a bit misty. Different battery this time. Now we've got a Mania, Mania X 4S 2200 battery. So uh, slightly, slightly like the battery. Just slows down so beautiful this plane but also does those sort of things as well. So, uh, real Jekyll and Hyde. And what I like about this plane as well with uh, Aileron and Rudder, she turns on a pinhead, you know, she really does like bang around so nicely. Time three minutes. What I'm going to do now is uh, well. Uh, we're a bit quiet of dog walk because I'm going to do a full speed pass. So, shallow, get ready. I'm going to bring you a long pumpkin height as well. There we go. So, very, very impressive, you know. Very, very impressive. We've got that bank of mist. <coughs> Time remaining two minutes. Wow. <laughs> Probably very difficult to film, but uh, very impressive nonetheless. Okay, lovely, lovely thing, this one. Of course, with it being quite wet and waterlogged underfoot already this year, these big sponge wheels unfortunately soak a bit of the water up, but they are <coughs> fantastic at landing on, on this rough grass. So, uh, as I've said, it comes down to what will cope with the conditions and not really about what I fancy flying. Nice gentle land in there as well. So you go, lovely flight with the fantastic Turbo Timber Evolution. What a beautiful plane. Really is just um, confidence inspiring. Fantastic kit to put together. Looks the part. You've got that laminated surface under the wings so the dirt and the grass just wipes off once it's dry and you know okay i've had a bit of a 
dodgy um, stall landing, which damaged one of the wheels and the landing gear. But you know, she's put back together and she's working perfect. So uh, really is one of the loveliest planes that I fly. Okay, there you go. Come here, Cheryl. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.